Hello everyone. So I'll share with you today popping out of text effect for this Kingfisher bird and I am excited very much excited for this tutorial because I am always fascinated with the fish catching skills of Kingfisher bird. So this is quite fascinating to share the tutorial using the same Kingfisher bird. So let's start with it. So I will be using first I will choose YouTube thumbnail as my canvas and I will use the image of this Kingfisher especially this image which I have downloaded from pngwing.com the link will be in the description from where you can download it. So before starting the tutorial I would request everyone to please subscribe to the channel so that you can watch all our tutorials and get notified whenever we post. So we go to uploads and in upload media we choose this word and after choosing we bring it to the canvas make it bigger like this size and for the background we will make it black absolutely black and we will download it so the download is complete so as the download is done so we will now create a blank instagram post and we will bring the downloaded picture of the kingfisher bird here and now we will start the editing we will just make it a bit bigger okay so for editing we will go to elements and we will be using frames and we will quickly scroll down to the alphabetical frames okay so we got it so in the first line we will write king and written group all of them and we'll click on position and then tidy up so that all becomes equidistant and in the next line we'll write fisher first we'll make the size as 218 as we have done in the first line as you can see here is 218 so in the next line we'll also do the same So do the tidy up for, for this one also and again select and bring it in the middle part ok. So now it's time to use the picture which we have just uploaded this one and what we have to do we bring it in here and we have to make it bigger such that it touches this and also this so I will make it such level that it also clicks the canvas and it becomes easier for us a bit easier for us to understand which part to use ok. So this is done let's use the scale.
so we have marked the scale and we'll do the same for all of them let's do it So this one is done now in the next part is we have to make the pop out effect so for that we have to use this transparent one but how can we understand the transparent is this the same size as this one because if we bring this one this will look bigger so how to understand the size so to understand the size first we'll bring this picture and make it bigger so you, when we hover on this it will sometimes uh, try to fit in the frame so we will hold on control and then we will just adjust it okay so we have adjusted it so this is the size and now we will just move it here and now we will shape the side now as you can see the side is same let's adjust a bit so this is the same side and now let's remove this one and use this picture let's adjust it here so it is adjusted so we will duplicate it once so before showing the next steps many of you have requested uh, for to me that what all accessories and uh, system i use so all the accessories uh, as well as the system what laptop i use what uh, headphones and you for recording so all the accessories will be listed in the description if you want you can just check them out and avail for yourself so let's do the next step so we will just make the first layer zoom crop like this okay like this one and for the below one we'll just crop out till here okay so as you can see it's done less do it slightly to adjust it Let's adjust it. So now it is done. So this pop out effect is done. For more illustration, let's add another Kingfisher bird here. So I have downloaded another image from the same website, which I will put in the description. So I will go to upload media, and I will upload this. another kingfisher bird
and I will just flip it and make it smaller and use it right here. Let's tilt it a bit and it will create a good illustration for this image. I hope this, you like this tutorial and if you have any doubts regarding this tutorial just post them in the comments and I will be happy to help you out.